Hello guys, it's Alex, and today I'm going to be talking about something very interesting, color calibration. So let's get started. You may wonder, why is color calibration very important? Well, color calibration is essential if you're a photographer, graphic designer, videographer, cinematographer, whatever you're going to be doing is you want color accurate pieces. Some monitors are more accurate than others, and some come calibrated from the factory, the more expensive ones. Cheap ones like the one I have, they're not so accurate. You're at max screen, while it is really accurate, it still could use a little bit of calibration, so I recommend everyone go out and buy a color calibrator. They're as cheap as $89, and they run all the way up to thousands of dollars, but the $89 model does a pretty great job with some third-party software. The first thing you're going to need is a color calibrator. I have the Color Monkey Smile. I've really enjoyed it. It's pretty cheap and accurate. The next thing you're going to need is a computer and a monitor or display. Most computers have these, so choose yours. So now that you have the things you need, you're also going to need to download something called Display Cal. I'll have a link in the description where you can download this open source software that's free, awesome, and way better than the crap software that came with the color calibrator. The first thing you're going to want to do is plug in your color calibrator. The next step you're going to want to do is open up Display Cal. Like I said, I've put a download link in the description, so if you need to download it, feel free to. After opening Display Cal, you're going to want to go up to the top and select Default. The next thing you're going to want to do is press Calibrate, Display and Instruments. We got through all these, make sure everything's good. So display and calibrate instrument, select your panel. Your color monkey or whatever instrument you've decided to use should be selected. Press correction for auto. Press calibrate and profile. So this will be the measurement area. As you can see, this one's rather large, so I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. We're going to change this until it gets to the right size. It doesn't need to be massive, it just needs to be a good big, a good size area. Now you're going to want to dangle your color calibrator and hang it over to your display. So to get this correct, you're going to have to change the counterweight. Sometimes you'll have to make it longer or shorter, it just depends. And so we're going to bring our color calibrator into the area. You're going to place it on the screen and try to make sure the screen's flat, so you might have to tilt your screen back a little bit. And then it's going to say something called Start Measurement. Click Start Measurement. And the screen's going to pull something up, and it's going to start calibrating and coloring the screen. So you're going to press Start Measurement. It's going to go through a few swatches of color, and just it'll look, it'll do this, it'll do that, and it'll be set. Okay, so it's going to show your brightness. It's going to say if you can adjust your if you can adjust your settings, try to adjust this. Some monitors will allow adjustments; others won't. The next thing you're going to do is press stop measurement and then continue calibration. So the color calibration software is going to run through a bunch of different colored squares and shades of colors. This is going to test your monitor and check the accuracy. Give it time, be patient, it should take about 30 minutes, this is completely normal, and just let it be. Go get a cup of coffee, chill, just hang out. Give it time. Okay guys, well the process is complete and this pop-up window will show up. It'll give you some information about your display, it'll show your color gamut. So this display has a 94% cover coverage of sRGB, 69% of Adobe RGB, and 77% of DCI-P3. So these are all different display profiles. What we're going to do is press install profile. Profile will be activated. So what we're going to do is you might not have noticed a very big color change. Let me show you this display before it was color calibrated originally. So this is the original profile, and this is the new profile. Original, new, original, new. And this is the one with the spider calibration software. As you can see, it doesn't look like to be much difference, but the display is a lot darker from the default factory to the new version. And so we're going to use the new version, and we're going to get a lot better results, a lot more color accuracy, more grading, and doing color sensitive work. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks.